officially available to download on every Minecraft platform. You can download it now and enjoy all of the new never features that you might assume are in it because of the marketing and even the name of the update itself being focused around the never, but there are many non-never features found right here. Some of these are small, such as the black text you'll see above the hotbar to describe what item you've just picked up. It's a really nice little change, but something that is much bigger and more significant is a change to the entire way we communicate in Minecraft altogether. Yes, they seriously did add emotes to Minecraft, you can now emote at each other, and that means you're not just restricted to punching at people to say, hey, go over there, or you're mean. Crunch at, crap, crouching and punching were useful till this point, but after this update, there is not only emoting, but there's a way to obtain them via achievements, which means there are also uncommon emotes, and there are also rare emotes. In today's video, I want to talk about how and why they're unlocked, because it's a fascinating system, which thankfully hasn't been monetized yet, I'm very thankful for that, and uh, does so using a way to actually show off that you've got an achievement while getting something cool in return. I like it, and let's explain more in today's video. So, uh, yeah, 1.16 added new emotes to Minecraft. If you want to know how to get these base level emotes, all you got to do is go into your character creator. As you can see, uh, you know, just to the left of the cape, men cape, cape menu, where you can get your Minecon cape or your Pancake cape if you play betas or went to Minecon 2019. Um, you can see how there is this emote menu right here, right between skin pack and capes. Just a really, it's, it's the third tab. You can't miss it. And in these emote slots, you can pick any emote to go there. So, right now, there are six emotes and six emote slots, so obviously you can just apply one of each to all of them. Um, but you'll notice how these three grayed out um, emotes are available to every Minecraft player. You can wave at anyone by default, you can simple clap at anyone by default, and you can over there someone by default. And all you've got to do is you've got to go to your settings menu, because by default it's bound to the left D-pad, but that's where also what chat is bound to by default for a lot of people. But what you've got to do is you've got to go to your settings menu, and you've got to find the emote key again. Uh, for a lot of people, it's banned by default. You want to set this to whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to be like, you know what? Up on the D-pad, sure, why not? And this means when I press up on the D-pad, or if you're on PC, the B key, uh, you find this little hexagon menu that seems so surreal, but it is very, uh, you know, much a real thing. And you can uh, press whichever you want, wh whichever one you want. And if you do so, you'll be able to wave, for instance. You'll be able to simple clap, for instance, as you can see right here. And you'll even be able to over there, people, which is kind of fun and beautiful, sure. But what's the deal with those other free, uh, you know, emotes you might say, like, wait, those emotes existed in the beta, I saw those before, but wait, there are new emotes as well, there are, there's rare ones, what's, what's the scoop of that? So, um, again, I really want to clarify, this is a very strange thing, but we have three other emotes, there's this uncommon emote called the hammer, as you can see, it's kind of nice, and there are these two rare emotes called diamonds to you, and the pickaxe. So, diamonds to you is obvious, because you get it by <laughs> completing the, uh, the diamond uh, to you achievement. This one is less obvious as to where you get it from, but clearly we do have it right here. And this one is unlocked by uh, completing the Acquire Hardware Achievement. Because in this update, they have entirely changed the achievement menu. So as you can see, you don't just get Gamer Score anymore. You don't just have a, you know, kind of bar to show you your progress on it. You don't just have a time to say when you got it. As you can see, I got all these achievements on the 25th of August, uh, 2017, because that's when Bedrock officially transferred over to Xbox. Um, you can see how like, oh yeah, we, uh, you know, you, you can see all those details still, but now you can see on the far right of the screen, there is also rewards for certain achievements. These are fascinating in my opinion, because now you can show off that you've done an achievement via a piece of equipment. For instance, I cured a zombie villager, which actually is a cool achievement in my opinion. A lot of people have done it, especially because of the never update, but as you can see, I've now got this plague doctor mask as a way to show it off. Although it's kind of bugged and it's in the emote screen as it's showing that off. But still, the fact is that we can put that on. Let's actually go to a normal skin and let's uh, you know show this one off instead. As you can see, if I now go to my my headwear, I should be able to find that Plague Doctor mask that I just unlocked. It even says how I unlocked it with the Zombie Doctor achievement, which means I can wear a Plague mask on top of the Alex head, and isn't that beautiful? Every single achievement in the game, as you can see, can be looked through like this, and uh, you know some of them have uh, rewards attached. And some of those, again, it's only free right now, also have an emote attached to them as well. So Diamonds to You, which is a achievement which requires multiplayer, will unlock you the Diamonds to You emote, although again, it's kind of messy. This unlocks you the Diamonds to You emote. So this is super interesting because this is a, a, an achievement that requires uh, multiplayer. The Diamonds to You achievement uh, has to be done in multiplayer. You can never do this emote in single player, not that you really ever should be trying to, um, but it's giving more reasons to interact with other players because you don't just get the achievement for interacting, you now get this as well, which is, again, interesting beyond belief to me. And then also, there is the hammer, which is unlocked by the Acquire Hardware achievement. If you've already unlocked the achievement, like I have, you just press collect, and there's a weird purchase screen, because apparently 
unlocking achievements triggers some internal purchase and then you buy it with your achievement as weird as that is i mean you keep the achievement it, again strange stuff and now i've got the acquire hardware achievement um again exactly where this one came from and why that's unlocked is kind of weird to me but there are now six different emotes you can have in minecraft as you can see this now means you can have a completed um, hotbar off these emotes and you can do six different emotes inside of Minecraft and again these can be paused at any moment just to clarify it's not like hey you're locked into it like some games will force you to when you do something it's literally just that if you stand still you can do some stuff and that is fascinating so yeah there are now rare emotes because if someone does the diamonds to you thing that means they found diamonds and they've handed them off to someone in Minecraft although that was kind of there we go. They found diamonds and they've handed them off to you in Minecraft. If someone does that, you know they've done that at the very least. And that's kind of cool in my opinion. By the way, just as an important aside that I think is actually worth addressing, because one of my first questions when I learned that there are emotes is like, so how do they work for all skins? So I tried it out with the avocado and surprisingly enough, even with like this dumb avocado, uh, skin. No offense, avocado skin. Um, but even, even when we use like an avocado, you can see how the parts of the skin that represent the arms, even though they don't really, uh, they all could be used to do the emote, which means you can have weird things like this. So everyone had seen dancing avocado. Now you can. Uh, but then the question to me is like, so what happens of skins that have no real even concept of arms? So the best example of this is Minecraft made a Star Wars mashup, many up oh, Star Wars skin pack many, many years ago. It was a bizarre thing and it has some skins that don't really make sense as skins, if that makes any sense, which I guess it doesn't is the point of skins that make sense as skins. But the best example would probably be uh, R2-D2. There's no part of this skin that is the arms, the legs, the head, etc. They're all just kind of invisible. And therefore, my question has to be, what happens if you do emotes as R2-D2? Do they just not work? Or, oh, okay, this is what happens when you do <laughs> emotes as R2-D2. Oh my, okay. We have found, we have found a flaw with the emote system. A beautiful flaw, but a flaw nonetheless. Like, this is how we wave, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the clap. The clap is nothing besides going slightly backwards. But the fact that this works at all, I guess I have to give some points to. But it is fascinating. Maybe you agree. Maybe you don't. All I know is this is bizarre. And maybe you agree. I do have to say, it's worth mentioning right now, it is a matter of time until they monetize this. Obviously, uh, the emote system with six emotes, it doesn't come into the game out of the goodness of uh, Microsoft's heart. I mean, like, I'd like it if it did, but obviously, um, whenever a big game does something like this, it's a nice goodwill gesture to potentially, um, you know, then later have some ones that you can maybe die. I mean, Fortnite dances are the epitome of like, oh yeah, someone can give a, you know, developer money in exchange for doing something that is of no benefit to them. It's not pay to win, it's nothing of that sort. It's just you can do some dumb things in Minecraft if you have some rewards and the fact that they're giving some for free I guess that's kind of nice and the fact that right now all of these are free all of these are earned or found I think that's a nice phase in Minecraft development I really don't like the future of where it's probably going but we can't really comment on that right now We'll have to comment on that when it does happen So speaking of the right now right here Let's talk about some oddities about this system because I mean again I think it's really cool that achievements now have additional rewards unlocking all of the achievements in Minecraft is a additionally uh, fun thing to do because wow look at this we can unlock the uh, what is this a, a head patch of a, a fake villager nose <laughs> for sounding the alarm like there are some really cute pieces of gear that they're giving away for free this way if you are someone who makes your own skin because you want to be Alex or Steve but mildly changed that's kind of nice I guess again I can't personally say this is the favorite thing that I want in the world. It's not something I'm ex excited about. But for people who are excited and were previously buying these things, the fact that you get some for free now is kind of nice, I guess. I think getting people interested by giving them free stuff is not actually a bad uh, business model because everyone's a winner. You get free stuff. They get more people checking out the, the system. And uh, yeah, I, I really like the fact that you can show off your, like, again, the Hagler achievement. It's a nice one. I can show that off to the world. Some of Minecraft's hardest achievements now have outward facing rewards. In case you're curious, because I was as well, uh, the achievement which has the highest, um, you know, like a uh, value that has a reward attached is the honor rail achievement, which is tied with the zombie, uh, you know, like plague mask thing. If you complete this achievement, you get the conductor hat, and that is therefore as an uncommon item, which I think is weird because there are some rare items for easier achievements. But as an uncommon item, this is technically the hardest thing to get. Um, in Minecraft, this is the hardest piece of gear to get, uh, tied with the Plague Doctor mask, I guess it's gonna be equally. But both of these require 30, uh, 40G achievements, which is kinda nice, I guess. But again, you get rare things for, uh, you know, completing 
easier achievements. And I would say, honestly, the conductor's hat sucks compared to this other stuff. So if you want to flex in Minecraft, just pick an achievement that's important to you. If you like diamonds, here's a diamond crown. If you like brewing things, here's a witch, uh, you know, hat you can add. Uh, there are now so many things you can add to your Alex or Steve vanilla skin, and I guess that's kind of cool. But the more interesting thing here is the emote system to me, because that is brand new. We've had this character created thing. Most people haven't cared about it, let's be honest, um, until this point. Oh god, this is a weird skin that we've made. Uh, most people haven't cared about it. Most people aren't very interested. But emotes are something that have caught everyone's attention. So let's talk some of the weird quirks of this, because did you know you can see in the top left of your screen when you're emoting? It does show up there all the time. So even when you're in first person, you can tell that it is working or not, because it will end if you decide to stop doing it. And second of all, uh, when you're in the emote menu, you can't switch to third person. You can't open your inventory, anything else like that. Um, the only thing you can do is you can press Y, apparently, to come to this menu. And uh, that's just something important to keep in mind. If you're playing in any form of competitive situation, emotes are not a good idea. I mean, they're not a good idea, regardless, because they don't give any benefit. But also, they can lock you out of doing something for at least a, a second. So if, for instance, I want to, like, I'm in here, and I see someone's behind me, I press A, I have to, like, undo it, get back into first person. It's a whole mess, and it will, again, there's no competitive benefit. And the lack of being able to do things here, um, you know, besides just close the menu down, or go to the skin thing, uh, or do an emote is kind of a bummer, because I'd like to see, again, switching perspectives, perhaps. I'd like to see maybe opening the inventory or crafting. I, I, I think there, I think the emote menu is a little bit restrictive compared to the rest of Minecraft, and that's what makes this feel not Minecrafty. On top of the weird hexagon layer, I, on top of everything else, there is something about this that feels a little bit off. I mean, let's be honest, as a community, there's always going to be a part of us that dislikes change. We can make a whole video talking about how, like, yeah, change is always going to seem bad because change change brings fear of the unknown. You know exactly how things are now, but you don't know what they'll be like after some big change. However, um, when it comes to the emote system, and again, it really does say to most people, like again, I love the unlocking things right now, but a lot of people look at this and go, it's kind of cool right now, but they pick the six emotes that weren't the most useful in the world, which makes people feel like, oh, so unless you want to wave or you want to clap, which again aren't particularly unique or interesting emotes, you're probably gonna have to find those later down the line. I would love to see if you are gonna give people free emotes, make them some more useful ones, you know? I'd love to see ways to indicate that there are rare resources in a direction or whatever else, so that we don't have to be, you know, talking in the channel game, so we can talk just with emotes, and so that, you know, Bok Edition players, Xbox players, etc., can communicate in a much easier way. I'd like that personally, maybe you don't, maybe you hate everything. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can like it if you did, you can share if you really liked it. I hope it was a useful tutorial on how to unlock some emotes and uh, if you enjoyed it then subscribe if you're new around here because I'll have a video later today on why you should survive in the nether. I know this is a never update and we focused exclusively out of the nether. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be checking it out. It's gonna be fun. I like, I like nether stuff and you'll never believe what my opinion is on emotes. Except you watched this video so I guess you would. Anyway, thank you for watching. I don't know whether to end the video or not so I guess we'll just do it right now.